The former State Attorney General has told the Supreme Court he doesn't recall being told that unspent departmental money was being put aside instead of being returned to Treasury. Michael Atkinson told the stashed cash trial that he didn't become aware of the practice until after a formal investigation. The state government's second ministerial witness, Michael Atkinson, laughed off his appearance in the witness box. He likened the experience to a Monty Python sketch about the Spanish Inquisition. Well, for those of you who watched Monty Python, it's like being tortured with the comfy cushion. Inside court, Mr Atkinson was asked repeatedly under cross-examination by lawyer Paul Hayward smith about his knowledge of fund transfers. Repeatedly, he said he didn't recall ever being told by senior staff that money was being preserved in a trust account to ensure projects were funded and completed. Former Justice Department Chief Executive Kate Lennon is suing the government, claiming she was made a scapegoat and forced to resign when the matter became public in 2004. She had transferred millions of dollars into the Crown Solicitor's trust account, contrary to Treasury instructions to hand back any unspent money at the end of the financial year. Mr Atkinson said he doesn't recall being told about the practice until after a formal investigation. What was the first knowledge you had of the topic which subsequently came to be referred as the stashed cash affair? I was in a hovel in a small village in the centre of Peloponnese in Greece when I received a call from my chief of staff. Mr Atkinson said he did have regular meetings with Ms Lennon where they often discussed finances but said he doesn't recall being told about the preservation of funds. When asked if written agendas of those meetings would have been kept, Mr Atkinson said he doesn't know where they are or if the department still has them. The trial continues. Candice Marcus, ABC News, Adelaide.